Point out, I'm Josh. And I'm Kelsey. And today is Friday, April 12th, and it's now time for your morning announcements. Here's what's going on around AHS. Hey, all you upperclassmen and those lucky underclassmen. Prom is next Saturday. For our convenience, Ms. Hankins has put up a page on the main AHS website discussing all the important things you need to know for prom. Ticket prices for seniors are $20 and everyone else $25. Guest forms must be due into the SA office by April 17th, and you can buy tickets at the SA office. For more information, go onto the AHS website for further questions. Interested in a summer job? Patriot Pride, in partnership with the UVA Credit Union, is looking for tellers. If you're interested, please see Ms. Sisman in room 259 for an application. Applications are due Friday, April 19th. It's that time again for the Virginia Discovery Museum's Teen Volunteer Program to start back up. Please see the attachment for all of this year's information application. I hope that you will have some interested students. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call or shoot me an email. Senior students who are taking at least one AP exam, we will be holding the mandatory pre-AP administration for any senior who is taking an AP exam. It should take approximately 30 minutes and must be completed prior to exams starting on May 6th. We're offering four different times to complete the pre-administration. Seniors should pick, up one, pick one of these sessions to attend. Students should bring a number two pencil to room 165 for the test. Please see Ms. Parsons in guidance if you cannot make any of the four. Wednesday, April 17th during chat, Thursday, April 18th during chat, Friday, April 19th at 8.15, or Tuesday, April 23rd at 8.15 a.m. Completed AHS PBCC dual enrollment application forms and, and placement test information are due Wednesday, May 1st. After May 1st, names of all students without applications will be removed from dual enrollment class rosters and placed in alternate choices. Students who missed a deadline but still wish to take dual enrollment classes may submit completed applications before the end of school in order to have their names restored to the dual enrollment classes rosters. No class changes of any kind will be per permitted after June 12th. Students should see their school counselors if they have any questions. A reminder to students regarding parking on the AHS school campus. If you do not have a student parking permit for the 2012-2013 school year, you are not permitted to park your vehicle on the AHS campus during school hours. The AHS campus includes the faculty and student parking lots in front of and on the side of the school, visitor parking spaces, the areas behind the school, next to the playing fields, and along Lambs Road. Any vehicles in these areas without a valid parking permit are subject to be towed at the owner's expense. The administrative team will be identifying cars without valid parking permits, recording license plate numbers, and issuing appropriate discipline to those violating the parking policy. And sports news, a required meeting for all boys who want to run cross country will be held in the small gym on Thursday, April 18th at 1230 p.m. Please pass the word, Coach Buzz Mail. The Albemarle girls tennis team notched another key Commonwealth District win on the road at Colonial Forge, 8-1 on Thursday night. They host Burt Point today at 430. That's it for your morning announcements. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day Albemarle. Albemarle.